This is the ISIS PEMF video tutorial number three, basic setup and operation of ISIS PEMF systems. To power up your ISIS system, first visually inspect the ISIS coils. Have a look at them, make sure they're not broken, no exposed wires or anything like that, and replace them if they appear damaged. Then, using a clean cloth or paper towel, clean the gold contacts. This actually makes your system work a lot more efficiently. Then you plug the coils into the pulse generator and you have to plug them in all the way. You'll see a little bit of gold there, but they're plugged in all the way. If your system has a power switch, make sure it's switched to zero. That's the off position. If your system allows you to set a power level, we recommend that you start at medium, M, second from the bottom. Then insert a freshly charged 9 volt battery making sure that the large part, the crown, which is the negative terminal, is in the orientation indicated, which is up. If you try to insert the battery the wrong way, it just won't fit. If you somehow are able to put the battery in the wrong way, it won't damage the system, at least not electronically. But please try not to do that, and please try not to force the battery into place. Once the battery is in place, switch the system to on you'll notice that a green flashing LED shows up under the power setting. This indicates that your system is working properly. If you have a system failure, we have an indicator for that. If you turn your system on and you see a red X as indicated here, that tells you that there's something wrong with your system. You cannot fix what's wrong. You need to send the system back to Micropulse and we will check it for you and recommend either warranty repair or replacement. 